Hello, my name is Colin Riddington and today I'm going to show you ways of making using the navigation pane a lot simpler and more efficient and to do that I'm going to show you my navigation pane helper utility. To download the example application I'm going to show you and for more information on this topic go to my website https isleofdogs.co.uk nav pane helper and you can see it's a small form here shown alongside the navigation pane in two different views here and if we click on either of these I'll show you this in use and as you see then this form here shows a number of different options but before I actually show you that let me just explain how that works then with the navigation pane itself in standard operation then and I'll just minimize this so I've got this set up at the moment then in a fairly default way here with each of the object types in order except I've got them in descending order there at the moment there and I can expand or compress the different groups as you can see here or I could speed things up here if I click on the headers there I can collapse all of them expand all of them and so on. I can also by doing this change it so I show only tables etc. Let's go back to the default view category object type show all groups and change this so it's actually sorted ascending and I'm in the wrong place for that I need to go up to the top there sort by sort ascending. Now having got this far got to the default settings then if I want to change this I can change this instead of being by object type I can right click here change the category go to tables and related views and then we'll put group things according to which table of particular objects such as a query relates to and for objects that don't fit into any one particular group then they're shown as unrelated objects here I can change the order again back to descending if I want to click again change it back to ascending I can change this again the category I've already used object type and tables and views I can change that to created dates not very useful in this case because I recreated all of these objects with a new database on Wednesday so hence they're shown on the same heading there but I can change this now to sort by modified dates and I still got no change there at the moment let's go back to category and to object type and now you can see if I now sort this by created date it will change the order and so on. I can go up here I can go to navigation options turn on the system objects and system table show there show on the hidden objects in this case they're just hidden system tables and a few more appear I can turn on on and off the search bar access also gives you three different view by options the default is called a list and that's the one you can see here every item just shown on one line if we change to view by you can see we can also have icon view where we get a larger view and therefore a smaller number of items shown but you can more clearly see the difference in type between different objects update query select query and so on and the third view details it takes up more space still but you can see the date created the date modified and if you have added it which I only have for a small number of objects here a description as well now I've only shown you a small number of the different options here but you can see that although there's a lot of power here it is or it, is, or it can be quite a lot of clicks to actually show those let's now show you the navigation pane helper option application for each of the different things I can do here I've got these listed in different sections in here with some toggle buttons to show you the different options there so at the moment the category I've got five options custom tables and views object type created date modified date and you saw how many clicks it took to go from one to another well I'm on the object type at the moment let's change it to tables and views one click modified date created date as I said all were created on the same day custom will allow me to actually use custom groups if I want to things that suit my way of working and I've done this for the sake of this database here I don't normally use those personally let's go back to object, object type there I can also within the object type change the sort order 
Now I'm not going to show much difference here by doing this, but I can change that from being sorted by name to sorted by type. And the only one you're really going to see a difference on in this particular case is the query. So I've got three select queries and one update query if I sort by type, and it will change the order to put the select ones all together and the update ones there afterwards. Change it by modified date, and within each group it will change that. And I can also do remove auto sort where that will allow me to move any one of these objects to a position that suits me. And now if we change the sort order now, you can see you can do that one click. If I want to collapse all the groups, expand all the groups, I can do that very easily. I can also use the navigation helper form to change the view by options. Currently on, on list, change to icon, change to details, and back again. And again, although I'm showing all of the groups at the moment, there are times when you want to focus on one particular group, as in the old database window. So I can just show the queries or the forms or whatever. I will go back to all objects. Now the options at the bottom of the screen here are four different options which can be used independently. You can have all of them if you wish to do so. So at the moment I'm showing the search bar. I can turn that off or on. I can show the system tables and the hidden tables as well, which are hidden system in this particular case. There is also a lock nav pane option. And if I click on, right click on any one of these objects here, you can see you've got a long list of things you can do with this, most of which are actually available at the moment. So there's a few things here which are un uh, disabled because there's no link tape. If I now click on the lock nav pane button and right click again, you will see some additional items have been disabled. In this particular case, you can no longer rename, hide, or delete objects. You can still do an awful lot with them though, import, export, and so on. So it's a slightly misleading name, but that's what access calls it. Let's just turn these off again. And the last thing that I haven't shown you so far is that the navigation pane is normally a large enough width so you can see all the objects. You can expand and reduce the width of that if you want to do so, and this form will automatically line up alongside there. If I want though, I can actually change that so it's the minimum width there so you can see the objects there you can expand that again and so on let's just turn it back to minimize you can also hide it completely the advantage of this is you can get it back on one click now i think that's shown you just about all there is here as you can see it's replicating the functionality of the navigation pane but with fewer clicks the only thing to say is if you decide to use this form it's best if you do all of the changes within the form or all of the changes within the navigation pane itself if you mix and match you can get things out of synchronization thanks ever so much for watching if you found it useful, I'd be very grateful if you would add a like and leave a comment on YouTube. Also, do subscribe. You'll then be notified whenever anything new is uploaded, typically about once a week or so. And I'd be very grateful for any topics you can suggest for future videos I might do in this series. Coming back to today's video then, for more information in the example app, just to remind you, go to https nav pain. Helper. See you soon.